All right, yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Jeff. I'm back once again with another tutorial video for you guys, and I think actually this is gonna be the first time I'm actually covering uh, Unreal Engine. Um, I th I think I may or may not have done Unreal Engine or Unity before, or maybe I just delete the video or I just cut it off at the end. Uh, but anyways, we are here, and as you can tell by title, and probably even the thumbnail, um, I'm going to go into the simple details or steps on how to give you a, a option of DLSS settings for your game or project, whatever you want to do. So this is going to be a simple way to uh, let players enable or disable or just uh, uh at um, you know have those settings on dlss like quality mode and balance mode and stuff like that there are several methods of doing this however this is just a simple way to do it and you can always change it later i like the style that i have on my game um, you may not like it or you may like it i don't know but if you go and play this um a thing here so here we have the menu um as you can see, we have single play, multiplayer, play, and settings, and quit. So if you go to settings, if you go to the video, uh, you can see I can change my settings and everything. I can go to, I'm going to keep the anti-aliasing to low, but the rest, you know, you can do cinematic, cinematic, cinematic. And for the DLSS modes, uh, since it's a button, you can do it, and it will be applied without pressing on apply. So if I press on apply right here, it's gonna take a little bit and, and, and you know, enable those those settings that we just did. Um, but because I'm in editor mode, it's, yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, whoa, it's totally different. Oh, it's because it was, okay. Yeah, okay, it is preparing shaders, so that's why it looks different, but um, it will work for you and, even though you can't really tell the difference on, on this uh, menu map that I have, uh, don't worry, it will work. Um, hopefully we don't have any lags, issues or whatever, but you know, we'll see. So, um, right, how do we get those buttons? So let's see if it actually works. So we're gonna go ahead and press on off. It did something here. Uh, if you go to performance mode, you can see it does uh, it does affect the game here. So again, off, performance, balanced, quality. All right. So we can see that it actually works. So again, those because it's a button, it works just without pressing on apply. So let's exit this this thing out here. Right. So what you want to do is open if and you should already have a widget for um you know you your UI widget for your menus and stuff like that. Um if you just bring this over into here, whoop, right on full screen. Um I have a few things here, but we're going into the DLSS settings here. Okay, so what you want to do is basically go to the designer tab. And you just want to make buttons. And if you don't know how to make buttons, it's really easy. Just type in here. You can't really see it. Hold on. If you type in the search bar, you do button. You will see a button over here. All you want to do is just drag that button. And you can just put it anywhere where you want. So I can put it here. Um, but you can do whatever you want or wherever you want to do it, you can you can do it. So then make sure your DLSS option, obviously name them properly. So the button, I named it here, DLSS off. And the text itself is also, it says here off. But on the button itself, the DLSS off button, sorry for that, it's my phone, but on the DLSS off button, scroll down and where it says events, unclicked, uh, you, you should see a plus, or if it says view, go to go and press on it. And that will create a unclicked event for that uh, button. Now, before we do anything else, let's go back. Go to the uh, second option right over here. 
scroll down and we're going to do view and or just create those events um what you can do is you can also do on highlight um but i mean that's useful for making like sounds and stuff just the way i have but you don't obviously need those sounds um all you have to do actually is if i just go ahead and delete those right is from the events on clicks the dlss off drag out whoop, my mouse is acting weird drag out and hit or type in dlss mode and then it says set dlss mode hit enter and it says off and this button is also saying off so that's good on clicked dlss balanced set dlss mode and we're going to choose from here the, the sections or drop down menu you have a few options. You have off, auto, ultra quality, quality, balance, performance, and ultra performance. Ultra, perf I don't think ultra quality works. Well, for my graphics card, it doesn't work. I have the RTX 3060 Ti MSI Gaming Z, Z3 or whatever. Um, it doesn't work. It may work for yours, but just keep in mind, Ultra quality doesn't work on all graphics cards or just this plugin. So, I don't know. Um, okay, so this one says DLSS balanced. So, we're going to go ahead and go to balanced. And I'm going to do the same for this one DLSS. I'm recording and doing a lot of things at the same time, bro. Right. So, DLSS mode. So, we're going to set the DLSS mode to quality right over there set dlss mode and it says dlss performance so we're going to go and do performance or ultra performance or whatever uh, and that's pretty much it you don't need anything else now because i already had it set up there we go just like this i already have like if you hover or click over them it all plays a, a, a nice little sound. Um, now let's say, because I saw something with sharpness and I'm wondering, can I do this like with one go? So if I do a little test button, right? It's gonna put it right there. I'm gonna say fill, there we go. Big, nice button. And I'm gonna add a text to it also. Just like that, I'm going to, um, let's see here, text, testing sharpness, there we go, now it says testing sharpness, and we're going to click on the button, and we're going to do unclicked, okay, nah, my mouse is acting weird, um, TLSS, Set DLSS sharpening. Oh, okay, cool. So we can set the sharpening also. We're going to set this to 100%. We can hit... Come on. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our settings. Um, video. And then we have our testing sharpness. Whoa. Wow, okay. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, and that is actually sticking to... It also applies on the editor. Um, zero. Compile. Save. Minimize. And we're just going to hit play. Settings. Video and sharpness is now at zero okay there we go all right so that's how you pretty much set up a a simple way to setting up your dlss uh, settings for the menu your ui widget and stuff so i may do a different uh, um, approach on the sharpness um because yes you can do it on you know again with, with simple buttons but maybe you want some sliders, uh, which we can do and which I already have. If you go to audio, you can see here 
Um, I can just mess around with the settings and stuff uh, with the slider. So, um, yeah, again, hopefully I helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. And if there's any requests that you want uh, regarding the same topic or another topic at all, I don't know. Uh, you can go off topic obviously but if it's like something related to unreal engine feel free to let me know with a comment down below like the video for more tutorials and um if there's any requests i will uh, take them uh, i think i talked enough thank you hopefully i helped you out and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace